So uh, there was something new which we made up here and um, baby Caro has been trying to make this place actually look look comfortable in look cooking comfortable. yeah the table is missing here because right table, now yeah? i'm putting you see on this the now outside it's like a counter oh i get it by the way yeah there are some tomatoes here mm -hmm. and some some tomatoes some fish some nice fish guys mm -hmm. yeah and then also some rice mm -hmm. it's here already just cooked yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then some nice ingredients. Um, ingredients: these carrots, mm -hmm. onions, and and uh, ho ho bell pepper. Bell pepper. Yeah. So um, I'm happy at least this structure came up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You might be wondering why is this structure here? You know, this yeah. is a traditional structure. Mm -hmm. um, one thing with this mm -hmm. right now. I feel very comfortable when you are inside here. Actually. Yeah, very, so very comfortable and, cool. and so cool. Yeah, yeah. And sometimes I feel even we could have made a bigger one. Don't yeah, you feel even that? me, I feel like <laughs> this one is small. <laughs> I feel like it's small. Yeah, because I'm thinking of where to put the table. It's like the, the they have put the three figures. Mm -hmm. It has occupied everything. Uh, yeah, bigger space. Yeah. but we'll try and but fix a table worry. somewhere. Will be here or this corner here. All the table mm -hmm. will be putting it inside the other house. The good thing there is the other house there. Yeah. So we'll be putting the table yeah. inside. Mm -hmm. We just remove it outside when it's on use. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you can even chop work. maybe on outside. Mm -hmm. So it's still yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And also, uh, it's a, actually a grass touched house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So on top there, there is some space, guys, if you can see. Yeah. So this space, you're going to try to cover it up. Yeah. Yeah. They had put this grass, but it wasn't enough. Mm -hmm. So I think if the rain falls, <laughs> it, it will, will come direct it to will the come fire. Direct to the fireplace. Yeah. But meanwhile, we'll cover it with something, maybe mm -hmm. polythene. Yeah. And then uh, when. Um, would have brought the other grasses because mm -hmm. grasses are very expensive yeah we are going to cover it mm -hmm. this one we waited for it to dry first mm -hmm. before that like uh, you know making putting grass is some kind of a process yeah. it's not like putting iron sheets yeah yeah so right away she was actually cooking yeah i wanted and... to fry now the fish mm -hmm. yeah wow i was waiting for the oil to cool down because i'm going to use the, that uh, i'd fry them there inside mm -hmm. after it cooled down i put back the oil in the bottle then i'd use the how is it called karai yeah karai no in english, in english i don't know a ball saucepan <laughs> oh saucepan i i know i'm not really sure no this. pan is for because we know of sophoria mm -hmm. and uh, the other pan the flat one mm -hmm. And this and one is a pot. Mm -hmm. So for this one, I don't know the name. Yeah. 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 But it's so helpful when you cook mandazi, chapati, mm -hmm. yeah, french fries. Mm -hmm. You know french fries? Chips. Yeah. Yeah. So it's so useful. Uh, mm -hmm. It will help a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. But I'm happy at least right now. Mm -hmm. Baby Caro is not up, out there on the sun. Or when it rains, yeah. it, she doesn't need to worry like before. Yeah. Right now, I feel happy. Yeah. Because right now, you see, the weather has changed I drastically. Worrying, uh, it will rain. Mm -hmm. And it right will... now, it, you feel very comfortable. You feel yeah. like you're inside a home yeah. that is protected yeah. and secure, mm -hmm. very cool and comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. And so, that grass, I think it's cool than iron sheet. For sure. Yeah. It feels comfortable. Yeah. We are almost moving in yeah towards this side yeah before even it's finished <laughs> before it's finished because right now it's not finished yeah this way mm -hmm. you know when you make this kind of structure mm -hmm. you have to put mud first mm -hmm. then again repeat the process mm -hmm. uh, like until it becomes firm mm -hmm. and later now you smoothen it because mm -hmm. right now if you can notice it's rough mm -hmm. so you, when you smoothen it with the cow dung mm -hmm. and there's some kind of soil mm -hmm. Like tomorrow we'll do the smoothening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not complete smoothening. Not complete. You but have again to repeat. Repeat, repeat, yeah. repeat. So as years goes by, mm -hmm. the more 
it becomes smooth yeah yeah so that is it guys for from kitchen corner mm -hmm. this is kitchen now corner. these are kitchen corner yeah. yeah and i love the fact that we embrace tradition because mm -hmm. Tradition, guys, is the way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Apart from having another different modern house on the other side, mm -hmm. it's good to have your traditional stuff here. Cause I don't know, but there is some kind of feeling when I see something traditional. You feel good. You feel good. You yeah. feel satisfied. You feel like you are at home. Yeah. Yeah. Even I think Christmas. Eh, we'll cook from here. We'll cook from here, and we'll have actually to look for big sufurias. Yeah. Big sufurias. Big. Um, utensils like you know large large mm -hmm. yeah the other first celebration when we celebrated the completion of the house up to the linton part mm -hmm. we actually borrowed sufurias yeah. from our neighbors them. yeah so this time we don't want to borrow them mm -hmm. we want to have our own like not even much like two yeah yeah two are enough so two are enough two or three mm -hmm. i think three. three yeah yeah three will be enough so we look for them slowly by slowly and then actually it's the only thing which we need there's no much thing. yeah so we're going to look for it mm -hmm. and then we'll see on how things go yeah. they say don't count your yeah. chicks before they are hatched <laughs> before they are hatched yeah. so uh, we'll be planning that god willings when god allows us and mm -hmm. it will be one of the best yeah. christmas ever mm -hmm. one of the best christmas with family friends and more so mm -hmm kids yeah because we are actually doing this for kids mm -hmm. yeah and kids love celebrations i know it will be it will be joyful it will be a joyful one yeah and guys you can't w we can't wait to see that day mm -hmm. being successful i think that day mm -hmm. we'll just prepare ourselves because mm -hmm. I, I know from morning mm -hmm. to evening we we'll just be, be in the kitchen yeah <laughs> you can't go anywhere yeah, just sure, in the we'll kitchen go anywhere we'll just be yeah. here mm -hmm. for us we know christmas is all about eat. eating actually <laughs> and sharing you eat yeah eating like you cook a sharing. lot of food they must they visit you you give them like you'll receive visitor visitor so you'll keep on giving until uh you finish by the time you reach evening you are all full even the neighbors they are full mm -hmm. like we know uh, everyone is, satisfied. is all about sharing yeah mm -hmm. so during that time mm -hmm. i think you know they say we plan but god makes the final decision yeah. yeah so we'll put that onto god mm -hmm. and then from there we'll see on how things will progress yeah yeah so um I'm, I'm glad this structure is here and with time you're going to improve it and it's going to be comfortable so i'll leave baby carrot continue cooking mm -hmm. and guys kindly check her out mm -hmm. and see the amazing outcome of the nice meal from uh, where she's going to start yeah. and where she's going to finish here yeah. so guys stay tuned so yeah i'll, I'll just leave you to continue cooking okay, don't worry okay yeah guys so from there i'm going to make uh make an update for you right away what i'm going to do today today i'm going to do some of the cleaning i wanted we do this cleaning with um there's another guy who always assists me in carrying those heavy loads yeah i sweep and then him he carries the heavy loads but oh my god unfortunately today he's not around and i think i'll be forced to do some of the things on my own because um yeah, you know i don't know why if it could have been uh, you know my own ability i could have just uh, did some of the things very fast because i love doing things on my own unless maybe if something is too heavy to carry that needs manpower and uh, yeah but those ones which are manageable i'm going to manage today so that i can reduce some of the heavy things that are here yeah guys and the way i'm saying like this there's so many things here many 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 so there's these all parts this way these ones were on one corner and uh wow i have a lot of work to do but i don't know how to manage but i'll have to do it actually today today yeah today i'll do it just at my own pace and yeah we'll see on how things goes by so guys watch the video to the end and enjoy and remember i love you so so much big love
Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Diana Kemi from East Africa, Kenya. Welcome back and this is another um, great day, different day guys. We are here at African Serenity Garden. And for those watching this for the first time, African Serenity Garden is our compound where our new home is. And initially we started our house with these ones. There's, there are two houses. So we started with this one. And uh, yeah, so if you haven't subscribed, kindly consider subscribing and so that when the vi new video comes, you get a notification and you get to enjoy guys. So um, I'm actually on the first house. This was the first house, um, the house which we started with. So, you know, uh, the reason why we didn't take it down or demolish it is... Um, you know it's good to to appreciate and love humble beginnings and also appreciate where you came from so this was the first house and we couldn't take it down because it has so many many memories of this it actually started as a mud house and uh, later it was plastered and right now it's a new nice home so thank you so much guys for always supporting me i really do appreciate and from where we, we've started from we started with you guys and we are still here with you guys and there's still more to come so right away today uh, we wanted to do some different things and yes actually this house right now we use it as a storage house and also a part-time kitchen so we haven't really decided yet but uh, right now it's a very good storage house and also uh, the person who stays here uh, when he looks after our things he also actually sleeps here so that's why that's why it is like this we haven't moved in yet on the other house but soon we are planning on time to move in because um, so far the places where we've reached uh, we haven't um we've reached a place where someone can move in but right now we can't move in because um i don't want that so much dust there's so much dust so and they're still working on it so we can't move in yet since they you know they're doing the ceiling first and uh, if they'll be doing the ceiling it means you'll have to remove your things in and out of the house so that they can um they can make inside so that will be that will be a problem this house we moved in before even we fixed the windows or it dried up you know when you make a mud house it has to dry up fast so this one we didn't wait even for the mud to dry up we just moved in directly because we were so eager and um, at the end of it I, I caught some cold you know some kind of pneumonia because of that so much cold during that time it was during a cold season and plus the moist from the mud i think yeah it made us sick so we can't move in uh towards the other house because we don't want to have you know those stories you can still have patience when you are still on this first house we have no hurry with the other one you just finish it and then make a nice celebration and move in so guys this is me diana kemi and my sister here <laughs> she's actually arrived right now yeah yeah she was doing some nice thing on the other side yeah oh okay some nice thing on the other side which mm -hmm. you'll be seeing it on her channel guys yeah, yeah. so hello hello guys mm -hmm. hello family hello everyone watching this welcome back to the anakem youtube channel mm -hmm. my name is baby caro and today is a beautiful day and today mm -hmm. eh, i'm so happy we are cooking on the out on the new kitchen for the first time outdoor kitchen let's say outdoor kitchen yeah because uh, she had told me uh mm -hmm. We are going to plan on how we are going to bring a table. Yeah. A table for the outside because yeah. um, 
during this you know it's, it's a festive season so mm. we can have maybe a small celebration or something yeah or maybe a get together with the family and friends and everything so we mm. need a place where we can cook yeah so we had initially a small table mm -hmm. but i think I, we need a bigger one mm -hmm. which we are going to use it on the outside part yeah yeah so we are going to use the other bigger table on the outside part mm -hmm. and um I think it will be more comfortable. Yeah, it will be more comfortable. Yeah. Even if you want to cut the ingredients, mm -hmm. you put the chopping board on the table. If yes. you want to serve, there's a table. Table. Yeah. Like, so it, it will be good. Even yeah. before the house is finished, we can still, it can really serve as well. Yeah, sure. Yeah. yeah. So maybe uh, she can show you on the, the other house. Mm -hmm. What are you carrying? Some milk? This is milk. Yeah, she's going to use it. In a special dish, which will special check. Special dish. Oh, eh? Special dish. You said? <laughs> special, dish. special dish. Yeah. This dog has had some so nice smell. Nice. Yeah. I think after we've cooked, we'll give it a little. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, always my friend. It usually comes when whenever we have some nice smell. Some nice something smelly. Yeah. Like, like right, right now. now the smell of a fish <laughs> yeah and you know guys actually it's a, a, a neighbor's dog yeah. yeah it started coming way back before mm -hmm. like one month has ended yeah. so since then mm -hmm. it's when it sees us it's always around i'll actually use this one this was a, a bucket used for painting so since that room needs lots of water before i sweep i'm going to use this one so this is the reason we didn't throw away these buckets we'll throw them later but for now they're still in use instead of the muscles taking other buckets other new buckets again and mixing it with cement and everything it's good to use this one. so i'll wait for it to to be full and then carry it inside the house sprinkle on the ground so that I can reduce the amount of dust that will be coming up and then start putting the things inside because I want all that to be in one room I don't want them roaming everywhere yeah guys so right here I can feel the uh, raindrops it's actually drizzling I hope it doesn't rain so much but the rain seems unstoppable it's still going to come wow so on the other side i've seen something i'm always in love with these flowers look guys Ooh, right now they really bloom nicely wow this is so beautiful maybe i can take one that doesn't look dangerous maybe just pluck it and put it somewhere yeah this way this way this way i look like a princess now wow oh, so this is the beauty of flowers so the mexican marigold i've already flowered here there is this other one i don't know the name but also it has flowered nicely look guys wow and then the red one on that side wow they just look like um, a garden a garden full of flowers so by now i think my water is full this flower is actually coming out yeah, so i'll close this and carry this inside So I think I'll start with the storage room, the room which we use to store most of the things. Ah, this room, this room here, guys. So sprinkle this water. I'll have to put more water because 
uh, I don't want this place to have much dust. You know, since the wall is white, so much dust will settle on the walls. And I don't want that. I want it to uh, just a less one because um, later you're going to put the ceiling. And also the good thing with this kind of paint, it's like it's washable. It's that kind of paint that you can wipe. Um, in case there's some dust, you just wipe it easily. It's not the one that sticks. And remember guys, this is still an undercoat. There was some question, there was some... Uh, not question actually advice but th this one which we choose was for it's washable one it doesn't stick it's that one when you find some stain you can easily wipe it off and then you continue so i think by the time you're coming to the roof because here for this room the roof will be will be white yeah white in color maybe for the kitchen can be brown brown one brown pvc because of the smoke you know when you cook um smoke tends to go up and or, or not not only smoke maybe dust or you know that tend to comes up and when it comes up it needs a wall um a ceiling that doesn't show much uh that so when you put a brown one a brown one that looks wooden like i think that one would match in the kitchen but the rest of the rooms will be will be off white will be plain white and uh, yeah maybe in case we try to put some some beautiful things some beautiful carvings we can change that anytime <sighs> yeah guys so from here i'm going to maybe i can place this camera of mine here Oh my god, I hope it doesn't come off. Yeah, it is a strong one. It's not really firm, but yeah, this way it looks better. Yeah, so a single element. putting more and more water maybe i can place my flower here this one i don't want it to fall so i'll have to put more water because of the of the paint on the wall okay. i think this is enough so let me go and bring the sweep so i'm back guys let me put this to be in a clear angle yeah, this way. So, I'm actually going to switch. So, there's some corners I feel there is not enough water. So, don't mind about the water for here I have no problem. If I see when there is some water, it's I actually want to put this inside the house and I'll use this thing to enable my wheelbarrow to go up.
think I want to put it carefully inside here so that it doesn't dirtify or make my walls dirty. So I had actually finished sweeping here. So here it's done and dusted. Wow. So it's actually clean right now. So these ones I wanted to put it together so that I can I can put it in the wheelbarrow. And then after placing them on the wheelbarrow. Yeah, at least this room now, right now it's clear. I can put the these things which we had put them to store. Yeah, because right now they are everywhere. They're everywhere. So right away, I think I'll place it somewhere. Because the reason actually we have kept even this one, this one, most of the time when you're doing building, you really want these stands so that in case of something even if they'll come to making the ceiling they'll have to use this to stand on top so that they can fix so these ones are still good i didn't want to throw them away because um we don't have enough uh, timber yet so this one is already good it was made during the time of um, laying the bricks that is laying the courses cos one cos two like that so they have still been helping so much so i can't throw them away even when uh, the datus was making some of the electric electricity things he used to use this one sometimes to stand on on heights so thanks to him actually we have nice electricity here so soon if we fix everything, everything is going to work well. So right now we are using solar. Yeah, we are using solar right now. Later, we'll put electricity because the process of putting electricity is very long. That one will just put it later even if I need it right, right now. So I think I'll start with carrying the, the lesser things. This one I can put it in this room because this one doesn't have paint on it. Yeah, that way. There's some which I'll put there inside, there's some which I'll put on the other side. Oh, there's lots of things, lots of things. Let's see. Ah, so I'd actually clean this room and I think this one actually is very clear. Oh, it's so clean. It's clean. Then I'm fearing to, <laughs> to put some dust. To put even a finger. Yeah. Like to hold it like this. Mm -hmm. I see it's like I'm that if I Yeah. Yeah. So I want to put them here. Inside of this room. Mm -hmm. I have to just to be careful so that I can't hold the wall. The wall so much. Yeah. So I think this one I'll just put them at one point. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I think I'll bring the big broom so that I can try. Because the yes, bring, let me bring the smaller one. Okay. Because the smaller sweeps well. The smaller sweeps well than this one. Yeah. Ah, so guys, maybe I'll try to carry these ones. Yeah, so some of them remained. And I need to figure out on how I'm going to, to store them.
Okay, so actually it's uh, from that time when they met they did some That's why they are this this litter is flying everywhere <laughs> everywhere but I'm going to clean it it can't remain like this yeah so later I'm going to find someone who will help me to carry the big the huge things that are remaining I'll clean I'll sweep around and then look for someone who will help me to carry the bigger the bigger things because there's, there's some switch uh, it will be tiresome for us to carry on our phone Yeah. So this one was the remaining vent. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one I'm going to keep it because maybe one time we are actually going to uh, to fix it somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> like this. Yes. Hi. Yeah, guys. What's up? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Arakem YouTube channel. My name is Gake. Mm -hmm. Actually, today, guys, I just pay a visit again to this amazing beautiful beautiful place so that you can just have some ideas shared guys so if you're watching this mm -hmm. kindly watch till the end subscribe and just tell us when you think of this video mm -hmm. my name is gake guys go find me there at gake01 your yes, subscription is highly appreciated and guys, also guys check my lovely sister abiana kemi mm -hmm. and watch the vlog till the end yeah thank yeah. you so much and oh my my hands are dusty hope <laughs> hope they haven't that fight you yeah for sure yeah mm -hmm. and baby caro is here yes. <laughs> My head is dead. <laughs> yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. So I think you're just doing some cleaning. Some cleaning? Because yeah. uh, since they did the wiring, we've yeah. never cleaned here. So we wanted to clear up things a bit. But later, I'll look for someone who will carry the heavy ones. Yeah. You know, there are some heavy ones which we can't carry. Yeah. Look for them. Yeah. And then he will. Uh, he will put but for now we are sweeping yeah. and uh, putting the garbage together yeah. and then yeah we'll finish from there what do you think about the house, yeah, the house is, let me just say the house is actually taking its shape its shape let me yeah. open for it yeah so that this the dust yeah don't uh, choke you up okay yeah gotcha. wow, that's, what, that's how it is mm -hmm. actually you're really doing great thank you yeah yeah no building is not something building is not vegetable it's true yeah for sure guys. yeah so guys for watching this watch to the end mm -hmm. subscribe and just tell us what you think about the video and the subscription guys is highly appreciated yeah and then also guys um actually that is gake he has just arrived right right now so we are on doing some of the cleaning and wow and wow Gake, I saw on the other side you were doing some uh, an amazing job also. Yeah, actually I was just doing some amazing job. Yeah. You see, if you remember, uh, you are the one who sent for me the map, mm -hmm. the plan of your house. Yeah. But for me, I extended. I added it's... another room. So it's oh, for now, four, four bedrooms. Bedroom. Wow. Yeah, for sure. Wow, so the fourth bedroom will be for visitors? No, for, for me. Oh. Because oh, it's for your mom. Yeah, yeah. the yeah. house is for my mom, but... My yeah. subscriber just told me that Gake need to have your room. So you see, for you us, yeah. here's the, here's the, this is the toilet mm -hmm. or the washroom. Mm -hmm. So for me, I decided that this there will be no washroom over here. So this will be the entry of going to another now the fourth room. Oh, oh. Yeah. and the toilets. And now the, these toilets, I just put it in and the side over there, and then. Also, oh, that when they share, they share on the other side. No, actually, these and these will be sharing, mm -hmm. and then for mine, mm -hmm. 
like you see for example let me just say this this is the door for the for public toilets mm -hmm. and this is the door for my my room mm -hmm. what by my mine will be having the the mine will be like the other master bedroom uh. so we'll be having two master bedrooms at the arts oh yeah. yours also will also be bigger yeah like the master bedroom for your mom. Yeah. Okay. So the rest are for your siblings. For my siblings. <laughs> yeah, because they have one sister and two two small brothers. Yeah. So the two brothers will share the room. Mm -hmm. my sister oh, their having. sister and the other room. Yeah. And in case there is a visitor, yeah. they you can squeeze with your brothers. <laughs> yeah. For sure. Yeah. But well, that's good. Yeah. And I love you you took the plan. Because uh, the good thing with this plan is just a simple one. Yeah. It's not, how can I say, complicated. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And uh, the outcome, especially when you have also good muscles, yeah. it will come out nicely. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Just uh, take time, and then everything will come up well. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So, this is Gage. Yeah. Gage is your one, guys. Good yeah. to be there. Mm -hmm. I have amazing and inspiration content to watch the families friends and the loved ones guys mm -hmm. so pop it pop in there and enjoy the vlogs yeah, yeah. yeah. welcome Gake. he actually came right right <laughs> right now actually yeah so um so this is it now so I, we were actually cleaning on the other side and maybe i think i'm going to put some more water because there's dust you want to put it inside actually dust in on the insides <sighs> I almost feel like my my lungs have suffocated that's why actually it needs some kind of a mask but you forgot to bring the mask guys maybe I'll bring it another time yeah so the second bedroom is here and at least they've done and dusted so ah. Let's see. So for this part, we're done with this part. Mm -hmm. Let me put them on this side because I'll, I'll burn them later. I put them in my jug. Quite room. Just clean the kitchen and leave, and leave there, yeah? And don't, don't, uh... Say what you want to say to me now Masubo have come, so they've actually come right on time, guys. Let's see. Say what you want to say to me now.
continue I think from there because the house needs a lot of work again we have to remove clear everything um, sweep so right away right now I think I'm going to continue that later and whew, you still have a lot of work yeah yeah, yeah. what do you think um, it has a lot of cleaning yeah I think it won't end today maybe tomorrow yeah yeah we'll finish tomorrow because yeah. at least we've done with the two bedrooms mm -hmm. so when we'll have put the put the things which are in the sitting room inside and then mm -hmm. come later on the other rooms mm -hmm. i think yeah. yeah we would have reached somewhere yeah, yeah. so for now we're just going to throw oh. away this mm -hmm. and then we'll be picking liters uh, together and then throw them away later and then for the heavy loads, you're going to do uh, it later, guys. Yeah. Because right now we don't have even the masks on. Yeah. Yeah. It needs masks. Even if you pour water, it still has some dust. Yeah. 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 So that one, we'll, we'll do it later. Yeah. So we are going to pour. <laughs> Gaki is smiling on the corner. Gaki, what is it? Yeah. No. Yeah. Like actually, you know, sometimes it is it, like in this life, you need mm -hmm. to be happy. Or you need to make something that makes you feel happy. Yeah. <laughs> you need to smile most yeah, of the time. You need to smile most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's true. Even if you uh you sometimes you pass through a lot, yeah. you have to try to put a smile, unless maybe. This, you know, there are some troubles yeah. which can make you not to smile. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so, wow, that is it. So, I think for the rest of the remaining things, because it will require a lot, because you need to remove all these uh, that are littering around this, like this. It doesn't look to me good at all. So, we're going to finish up tomorrow so today we just collect the litters around put them in a box and when the person will come to reorganize i think we would have cleaned most of the places so it will be just a bit of the spaces remaining yeah i can don't know why i'm feeling there's some lights oh that light there maybe it has a problem i don't know so actually after some few minutes of roaming around the compound my flower died into you know it withered into this kind of uh you know the way it looks like this 
so right now you can't see the brightness of it so much but this one uh, shows you how human life is yeah when you are young it, you grow and you bloom you be bright and then as uh, years goes by as you continue aging your strong energy uh, the way you move about continue reducing with time slowly by slowly slowly by slowly and as you age uh, you continue withering 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 until you dry off completely so when you are dried off completely completely that means maybe you are dead so human life is like a flower it blooms right now the way here it's blooming it looks so beautiful and then with time things change and you know they die because right now the way they are shining like this with time they are going to die uh, to die dry off and fall off and then there'll be another flower again during the flower flowering season again they'll come up so that's how it is so we are born and uh, we are like a flower so that's why even uh, when someone dies they put flowers on on their graves so those flowers have a significance yeah it represents how uh, our lives are that's why most of the times they don't put plastic flowers they put real flowers real flowers because um, now that one is how uh, life is presented yeah they are fresh during the morning then they die off completely yeah guys so wow i just love flowers and um i hope with time uh, this place will one time change it into a place full of flowers a uh, nice garden yeah guys just with time everything is a step-by-step -step thing so right now i'm finishing up with things i'm going to put this inside the house because i have to close everything and then and then move guys wow. so let me put this on here yeah so on the other side of the shed wow you know what guys there is something that always amazes me this side the, uh, this side where the, there is this flower a bottle brush plant and the other side also where yeah, there is the bottle brush plant initially when we were when we planted this we wanted it to be in front of this house because we never knew if we'd one time have another house on the other side so we decided we won't cut it we live here in future it's actually going to have a small pathway towards this side towards this side and the place of cooking wow everything right here is just amazing very amazing and very relaxing guys wow wow so whenever i look at this one i just remember the old the old times this is a great memory and that's why we wanted just to put just partially partially bits of this tradition here and the fireplace is still warm actually it doesn't really uh, cooled off completely there's some coal hot coal here see guys there's some sparks so here it's very comfortable even if the rain falls and maybe you are not around someone can just come here and shelter so there is no need to worry so uh i think tomorrow is when we'll organize on how we are going to cover up the old roof it's not completely covered so right now if it rains there will be some rainfall droplets um coming here so we are going to cover up here so that it doesn't fall but it's a very good place for cooking and apart from cooking relaxing also on the outside 
yeah maybe the time when the inside the house is too hot you can go outside and still have some nice relaxation yeah so it's actually in a circular form it's actually a traditional one yeah so i think i'll have to put things inside and then close up everything yeah guys so before i go let us check on the vegetables i'm sure by now the vegetables have already picked up yeah it's been a while since i came to check on them and guys guess what some nice pumpkin some nice pumpkin over oh, here there's another one here wow yeah, i think these are the ones which are around here so we usually avoid pointing them so that they can grow we believe uh, when you point on them they won't they won't grow they will rot yeah it was actually a belief but i think it's true when you point them they don't grow they actually remain stagnant so these nice scales i think i'm going to pluck some of them because already they are uh, they are big we had given them some days because the last time we plugged them we plugged almost everything so right now they are still there and wow and there are many actually so many still nice and fresh you know right now i'm enjoying plucking them and i'm i'm asking sometimes myself if this was during the time when the mussels were here i think they would have really helped me a lot because during those times we hadn't planted them and then uh we had lots of hard time looking for vegetables since it wasn't a season for vegetables but right now vegetables is everywhere everywhere like things happen opposite when you want them they are not there but when you don't want them they are already uh, on that side so this is it for now i'm just seeing right now there are so many of it so many of it plenty of it but when they'll come back you won't see them completely yeah guys so i just pluck a few of them and leave the rest for the for the other days yeah wow so i think i'm going to end my video here and then we'll proceed tomorrow guys so thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this vlog thank you so much for always watching i really appreciate if you haven't subscribed at the anakemi kindly consider subscribing for more amazing village contacts and guys i love you so so much and uh, big love continue showing us love continue showing us support please don't tire with us guys continue encouraging us and um, in any case you have any questions you can also comment down at the comment section and um, uh, you know feel free yeah all all comments or opinions are welcomed whether good or bad but i prefer good ones guys <laughs> i prefer those that are encouraging correcting you know yeah those ones so guys thank you so much i'm really happy you watched up to this point and uh, thank you for always encouraging me and uh, so far so good we are planning on the next phase of building and i hope you watch next time guys because there'll still be more coming more coming guys so thank you so much and our banana here is also doing fine let me show you yeah it's continuing growing little by little little by little but right now i don't think if it really needs support because it's already strong on its own and these kind of bananas don't grow so big this type there are those type that grow so huge but these ones mm -mm, they don't they don't grow so huge this one is the ripe one the one which you put to ripen there are many types there are that one which will cook it plantain while it's green and this one so this one is the one which will ripen it into bananas yeah into yellow bananas 
So guys, this is the end and love you so, so much. See you soon. Bye-bye.